Hi. Okay, let's go to the balcony. Let's have a little chat, a little talk. Okay, hello. It's me. I'm back. We love the trains. I'll wait for you. Anyways, um, yes, I'm Marina. Still, um, welcome back? Question mark. I don't know. Honestly, it feels so good to be vlogging again. I just love vlogs. I love rambling about my life. I love just capturing my life. But I haven't been doing that for like a long time now. I'm back and very excited about it because, to be honest, I realized that I really like doing videos, especially vlogs. Um, not because my life is so interesting, but I just love looking back at it. And I always thought to myself, like, oh my god, I need to get back to YouTube. And one of the reasons that I never did was because I feel like now everyone is watching TikToks rather than YouTube videos. But at the same time, I always said that I do my YouTube videos for myself and I don't care if no one watches them. That means I can just ramble about anything and everything. So yeah, and recently I was reading this book for my dissertation preparation, which is kind of crazy because obviously I stopped vlogging when I moved here for uni and to say now that I'm doing my dissertation preparation. So yeah, and the book said that people always wait to have something like if I had this amount of money I would start doing this or if I had like a partner I would do this and it's like everyone always waits to have an external material thing to start doing something they want but it's like why just start so yeah I'm not doing anything exciting today nothing all of the exciting content worthy stuff was already done like when I woke up because I went to the gym made breakfast and that's about it there's nothing I could like really vlog about today but I was just like you know what just start start just do it so I picked up my little vlogging camera and here we are and yeah as I said I'm going to be doing all of this mostly for myself if someone wants to watch it you're welcome like thank you oh my god that's so cute and wholesome look <laughs> Oh wow, I want to do that! So yeah, as I said before I got distracted, um, I don't know what I was saying. Basically, I'm going to my third year of uni, which is the last one. My birthday is coming up soon, I'm planning to do a Paris trip. I don't know, it's just up here yet. I actually need to book it, because it's quite soon. And I'm honestly just trying to get my life back on track. So I thought it would be quite interesting to film it. Plus also, it's going to motivate me to actually do the things to get my life back on track so yeah this was quite the long intro but again as i'm doing it for myself and i love rambling that's what you get and i'm honestly loving this little vlog camera i just i feel like yes when i was 11 this is everything i wanted yeah so that was the little intro if anyone cares now let's go and do my makeup because I need to leave for work in like two hours so we have time
as you can see, I did my makeup. It honestly took just 15 minutes because um, after doing that, I went on my balcony and I edited the part of the vlog you've already seen. Um, and that video of me doing my makeup was just 15 minutes. I used to be the type of girly who would spend like an hour and a half doing her makeup. Anyways, um, I have to start getting dressed in like 20-25 minutes to go to work and I think I should probably eat something because I leave at 2.30 to get there at 3.30 and then I finish at around 9. Yeah, so I should probably have lunch but I had a big and late breakfast which I have my new breakfast obsession I'm the type of person that hyper fixates on things and this breakfast oh my god I will show you tomorrow I'm honestly obsessed with this camera like the viewfinder call me call me narcissistic yes call me that so I just got dressed and this is my little outfit for work this is like I would never wear this um, like to go to work. It's a cute outfit, but I'm usually like a blazer and suit pants kind of girl, but it's just too hot today. I can't. I physically will not do that to myself. They can fire me. I'm not wearing anything more than this today. So the top bit will be covered by my uniform t-shirt, so that's no problem. But then we have these shorts. Shorts? Shorts? I never know how to say that word. I mean, I know how to say the fucking word, I just don't know how to pronounce it. You know, bilingual issues. And then we have the little shoes and the little socks. Yeah, that's my outfit. And now, I still have some time, so I'm ready. And it's time to go! I don't know why I picked up the shift. Why did I do that to myself? It's such a nice day out, I wish I could just spend it in the park. But I don't need to work, I get to work. Okay. I just got back home from work and first of all I'm exhausted second of all I'm not hungry hungry but I don't know why lately I have like no appetite so I'm fine with no eating but I have like this new passion for cooking I always loved cooking and like I like doing it but lately I just like the whole process basically romanticizing cooking so I put on like vibey jazz music, put on my candles and just, you know, chef it up. So in the context that I'm not really hungry but I really want to cook and there's just me, myself and I so if I cook I will have to eat it. Um, that works out quite good. So yeah, I'm going to cook some salmon with um, a side salad and you know what I remembered that I have some wine in my fridge that my lovely friend Ella left the other day and it's Saturday night I'm vibing alone so I think I'm gonna have a glass or two while I'm cooking and then having dinner so this is the wine I only drink white wine and yeah I don't know why I'm so excited like I don't like drinking alone because why would I like what's the point of drinking if you're just doing it alone but I think tonight is like kind of a romanticize my life type of vibe so yeah let's do oh, you can't really see me I need something to put you on please don't fall great okay so this is the cup of choice I know it's not a wine glass but I like this one cheers okay so first I'm going to prep the salmon and I like to cook it in my air fryer and for it to be a bit undercooked so it's like cooked on the outside and a bit rowing on the inside if that makes sense here is the salmon oui oui je parle de français et je veux aller à Paris pour ma anniversaire. I just had one sip. One sip. 
pour les salmon. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to do this whole uh, cooking segment in French. For the seasoning, I'm actually going to do this sauce, the honey mustard dressing, and some salt, some parsley, herbs de Provence, um, and this. So this is how it's looking. It doesn't look very appealing right now, but it will do. And that's a little setup. Now we just close this as a little envelope. And now I'm having a little dilemma because I don't really know if I want to do a cucumber and lettuce salad or this cheese and garlic stuffed mushrooms from Tesco. Okay, I'm pretty sure the salmon is all good to go. As I said, I like it a bit raw. I'm going to use this beautiful plate from probably Zara Home. I don't know why it doesn't look very appealing on camera, but I swear to God, it looks and smells so good. Is my camera lens dirty? Clean job. I might be going on a date next week, so stay tuned for that. I'm pretty sure that the mushroom is done as well. I just need a little fork. And I think I'm going to add a little spoon of the truffle mayo I have. Okay, so this is how dinner is looking. Again, I don't know why it looks so ugly, but I'm so ready to devour it. I'm sorry if I'm not a middle-aged black woman. Today I woke up at 8am, which is quite good because I've set myself to wake up before 8 a.m. on the weekdays and sleep sleep as much as I want during the weekends and today is a weekend and I woke up at 8 a.m. but it's okay that means I have more time to do productive stuff let's make a matcha and then I'm not feeling very hungry yet and I think it would be better to eat after my workout So I just had my matcha while editing this vlog and it's 10 a.m. Um, and I'm getting quite hungry, like I'm hungry right now. So I think I'm going to make breakfast and then go gym. To do my signature special breakfast I mentioned earlier, I'm missing one secret ingredient. So I need to quickly go down to Tesco and get that. So let's go. Okay, so I'm back. And the secret ingredient, cherry tomatoes. Okay, so now we need to preheat the pan with quite a lot of oil. And now we just cut the tomatoes and put them in the pan. Okay, next step, we just crack the eggs. Okay, so the breakfast burrito is done and I'm just going to sit outside and enjoy it. Checking out tomorrow. Anyway, like New York in the sense that like... It... So I just had my breakfast, edited a bit of this video and then um, organized my week for next week because today is Sunday. And to be honest guys, I'm really not feeling the gym today. Like really not feeling it okay i've decided let's just go i'll just do a bit of stretching a bit of um i don't know abs maybe some yoga and just take it chill but the thing is i want to reprogram my mind to like actually go into the gym so it's like i don't mind doing the workouts 
or not doing them it's just i need to go to the gym if you want to develop a habit just make small steps towards it so if it's for example going to the gym maybe you just go there for five minutes or just even like put on your gym clothes for a week and not do any workouts or go to the gym then next week put on your gym clothes and go to the gym for five minutes the next week go to the gym stay there and do stuff you know finished my workout I did not do much but I did more than I expected so yeah now I'm just going to have a quick shower do my makeup get ready for work and go to work lovely okay so I just did everything I said I was gonna do in the previous clip so that means I showered got ready got dressed and now I'm going to work I probably won't take my camera with me today just because what am I going to film? My commute there is just one st stop away. So I'll see you when I get home from work. So I just got back. I'm very exhausted. I was going to say excited. Um, yeah, exhausted and hungry. So I'm just making some dinner now. I'm not going to show it today because I'm basically doing the same thing I did yesterday. Uh, yeah, but today at work I was doing like another job that I've never done before and it did not involve talking to any customers so that was nice I do enjoy the customer service aspect of my job today it was nice to just chill and not talk to people so yeah now I'm making dinner <laughs> Okay, so obviously I forgot to film an outro for this vlog, um, so here's a little photo booth moment. I hope you enjoyed the vlog, I surely enjoyed making it and yeah, I'm very excited to be back on YouTube with my vlogs. So yeah, exciting stuff is coming and if you want to be on the journey with me, subscribe to the channel and follow my other social media accounts which will be down in the description. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Love ya! <laughs>